In this video, we're going to look at how to solve linear equations with brackets. Let's look at first example. Uh, first step uh, in this equation will be to expand the bracket. So let's do that. So first, we multiply 5 with 2x, which gives us 10x. And then 5 multiplied by positive 3 gives us positive 15. Now let's uh, expand the, the second bracket. Here we have a negative 2 times uh, x, which gives us negative 2x, and then negative 2 times uh, negative 2, that's positive 4, and that's equals to 23. Uh, now we need to combine like terms. You can see here uh, we have the 10x and negative 2x uh, and uh, that's going to give us uh, positive 8x uh, and another like terms here is the cost uh, constant so positive 15 and uh, positive 4 uh, which is uh, positive 19 and uh, that's um, equals to 23. Um, uh, next, we need to subtract 19 from both sides of the equation. So, just uh, to keep the balance. So, that will uh, give us um, 8x uh, mm, uh, equals to 4. And now, if we divide both sides by 8, x would be uh, 4 over 8 which simplifies to 1 over uh, 2. So we just got our final answer, which is 1 half. Now let's have a look at the next example. So um, uh, here we also need to expand the brackets. So we, uh, we can see that in the front of the brackets we have a negative, uh, negative 3. So if we multiply negative 3 by 2x uh, that is negative 6x and the negative 3 times negative 4 um, will give us positive 12. Now let's move the, expand the second bracket and then you can see in front of the brackets we have positive 4. So if we multiply positive 4 with positive 1 that's going to be positive 4. And then 4 times positive x, that's going to be positive 4x. And then that all is going to be equal to positive 26. Now let's uh, uh, collect the like terms. Here we have a negative 6x and the positive 4x will give us a negative 2x. And uh, mm, here we have... Uh, positive 12 and then uh, positive 4 gives us positive 16 and that equals to um, 26. Now let's subtract 16 uh, from both sides uh, and we will be left with negative 2x equals to positive uh, 10. And now if we divide both sides with the negative 2, x uh, would be negative 5. So we just got our final answer and x equals negative 5. Now let's have a look at uh, the final example. So here we can see that we have positive 5 in front of the bracket. So 5 times 2a that's 10a and 5 times negative 2 that is negative 10. And then we also have 5 here, which bring it down. And that's going to be equal to, and let's um, uh, expand the brackets. So 3 times a is uh, uh, 3a. Okay. And 3 times positive 1 will give us positive 3. And we just simply bring 6 down. Now uh, we're going to collect the like terms uh, 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 on both sides of the equation. So we have a negative 10 and positive 5, which gives us negative 5. So we will have 10a minus 5 equals to 
and then let's collect the like terms um, on right hand side as well and we will have 3a plus 9 now you can see we end up uh, with the equation that has variables on both sides so first step here will be to eliminate the variable on one side and we are interested with the one with the smaller coefficient because here we have 10a and 3a we will eliminate 3a as it has the smaller coefficient so we need to subtract 3a from both sides and we will be left with 7a minus 5 equals positive 9. Okay, now let's add 5 to both sides of the equation. We will have 7a equals to 14. And then if we divide both sides by 7, mm, we will be left with a equals 2. So we just got our final answer.